Hi queens, welcome back to High Low Lux where luxury and style are attainable. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you super easy tips to dress better now. Tip number one is to tailor like a pro. Think about celebrities, think about stylists, think about people that get their clothes custom made. I think we all know that typically you may need to get like the hem shortened on pants or skirts and you may need to get like the waist taken in, but I want you to take it a step further and really keep in mind the possibilities of tailoring, especially when you're shopping, but even with the items that you already have in your closet. I'm sure there are pieces that you love Love, but you would love them better if you know the sleeve was a little shorter if the neckline you know fit a little better if there wasn't so much side boob you know really think about getting the most out of your clothes once I kind of shifted my mindset to this it made shopping so much more enjoyable because I didn't get as frustrated expecting mass-produced clothes to fit me like a glove right like okay I'm a size medium or I, I'm gonna try this in a size small and it's like well the small is too tight and the medium is too big, so this just, the story isn't for me, or this garment wasn't made for me. Like, none of these garments are made for you. <laughs> like, these garments are mass-produced items that are gonna kind of fit everyone. Like, that's the goal, right? So in order to make it look like it was made for you, you're gonna have to tweak it a bit. So I think changing your perspective will help you dress better immediately. Something for me, I have a really short torso, like shortening strap, right? Taking it to my tailor and being like, hey, can you shorten these straps? So my challenge for you is to go in your closet right now and find five items that you can take to a tailor and tweak them a bit to make you feel even more confident in them. And finding a good tailor is trial and error. So I say start with at least, if it's a new tailor you've never been to, take the least expensive item you have um, just to test it out, make sure you know you guys are on the same page because it does take a tailor that is good at their craft or you know it's not like rushing through the job i love tailors that are like into the art of tailoring right like they get excited to like play around with different things and try different things like that's how my tailor is like every time i come in she's like oh lord what do we got today and i'm like well i want to do this and i want to do that she's like i'm gonna try we'll see so next tip to dress better is going to be creating uniforms based on occasions that come up often. You know, those last minute things that always happen. Unless you have something new and special you wanna wear, you should have a few go-to uniforms that you know will work for those occasions. I think this is a good idea to do every season, right? So we're in summer. Think about the events and activities that typically come up in summer, right? Probably gonna go to like cookouts, barbecues, um, wineries on the weekend, uh, brunch. You know, maybe someone wants to go like to an outdoor mall, shopping. Think about the things that you often get asked to do on the weekend or that just might come up after work outing. Creating the uniform is kind of just like in your mind or like if you put it in your notes app, what you would wear on these occasions that will keep you from stressing out and panicking when you get those invites. Um, and it'll keep you from panic shopping and just buying random things, right? I have uniforms for special occasions or certain occasions. If I'm meeting someone for the first time, if it's something that feels a little more businessy, um, if it's something where I wanna look professional, if it's something that's fun but I'm gonna be outside, I have certain things that I wear. My uniform for if someone asked me to go to a winery and I don't know what to wear, it's probably gonna be a, a long kind of column dress, slip dress vibe. Similar to what I have on, but I also have some with like spaghetti straps. That's gonna be my go-to with like some really, like really cute slides and a nice pair of sunglasses. If I get invited somewhere where it's kind of businessy and I wanna look professional, I'm typically gonna wear a nice suit um, and then do like a fun top underneath. Like that is my uniform that I just have in my mind. Um, if I'm going somewhere that's like, concert or like drinks. I'm typically gonna wear oversized jeans or cargo jeans and a corset. Like those are the uniforms I have in my mind that I know I always feel good in. I always feel like myself. You can make a Pinterest board if that helps, but think of uniforms just for, you know, the few occasions that come up throughout the summer so that you're prepared. It's basically like planning your outfits, but kind of on a broader scale. Like you don't have to pull these things out of your closet. You can pull them out, maybe make sure they still fit, um, but you don't have to like set them aside or anything. It's just like making mental notes so that you know what to reach for. So the next tip is to utilize the color wheel to play with color in a more creative way. I think this is such a fun thing to do in the summer to just make your wardrobe and your outfits look a little more interesting. Using the color wheel will just open your mind. That's what it does for me. Sometimes it just makes me think out of the box of what I normally do, especially when I'm trying to like just do something different or maybe feel a little more creative that day or just play around and make something look different. Maybe something that I always wear, I just want to wear it in a different way and I just can't get there. Using the color 
color wheel just kind of like sparks that creativity. Um, I'll pop up a few of my favorite ways to use the color wheel. But I think even when we think about monochromatic, this is a really good color wheel that I'm popping up because it shows you <laughs> the different options of, of ways to pair colors. Even when you think about monochromatic colors, you can do shades and tones, which I think is such a fun way and just makes it look a little more it gives the outfit a little more depth than just saying, you know, if you're gonna wear, you know, an all yellow outfit and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna do monochrome today. Doing like different shades of that color, again, it adds so much more interest and intrigue into an outfit. But sometimes when I think of monochrome, I'm just like, okay, it, it, they need to match. But you can think outside of the box. That is another challenge. Go in your closet and see if you can make outfits out of the color wheel I'm putting up. Take a screenshot and see if you can make, I think it's six options. If you can make six outfits, maybe even try three. Let's start with, let's start with three. We don't need to overdo it. If you can make three outfits out of utilizing the color wheel in these ways. Okay, the next tip is gonna be outfit balance. I know we've talked about this before, but I wanted to give you more ways to think about outfit balance because I feel like this is one Anytime people are stuck on an outfit, right? You get dressed and you're just like, something feels off. Something's not quite right. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's the, if I should change the shoe, if I should tuck in the shirt. It's typically because the outfit needs some balance to it. So what do I mean by that is, you know, if you are doing a slim pant, typically you wanna do, you know, a billowy top or a flowy top or an oversized top. And this is all based on your style, but we're gonna be kind of generic, right? Um, if you are doing a very oversized, you know, wide leg pant, you typically wanna do something that's a little more form-fitted. But you can also think of this in other areas of fashion. So if you want to contrast um, bold jewelry, then you may do a chunky necklace. You'd probably keep the rest of your jewelry kind of simple, like I am today, right? I'm doing a super bold cuff, so I don't have a necklace on. I typically always wear simple earrings, but even the rest of my jewelry is kind of minimal. I wouldn't do a super big bracelet and then, a, you know, a bunch of layer chain. I feel like typically what I see people struggle with is shoe choice and pant length, right? Like if you have pants that are all the way to the ankle and then you throw on a really chunky shoe, I typically like to have a little space in between so that it feels like the shoe can breathe and there's like a little something that's like breaking it up a bit. So think about this in terms of prints versus solids. Um, there's an art to mixing prints. <laughs> I'm not the best at it. So typically if I wear a print somewhere, the rest of the outfit is gonna kind of be pared back and I'm gonna let the print shine. That's outfit balance as well. Brights versus neutrals. Unless you're doing a full, you know, bold suit or bold moment, bold dress, Typically, if you want a pop of color, that's that's the outfit balance. It's keeping the rest of it kind of streamlined and then having that bold piece that is the pop of color. That's the tip. The next tip is going to be to style the look. So this is when you're getting dressed. Also, getting in our stylist bag, in our stylist mindset. Doing the finishing touches, the zhuzhing of what a stylist would typically do, right? So great examples are you wear you know some nice jeans and a button-up top. Do a half tuck, right? That kind of like streamlines the look, makes it a little bit cleaner. It also makes it feel stylized. Um, you know, when I wear a suit, I always push up the sleeves. That helps with outfit balance because I'm, I have very short limbs. So typically if I keep them down, I, it just feels very overwhelming. Pushing it up makes it feel a little more streamlined, but it also makes it feel a little more styled. And then, you know, you can see if I have on a watch or any type of jewelry, but pushing up the sleeves is another like style element to add to an outfit. Adding a scarf, adding a belt, adding the accessories, the accoutrement of an outfit is how you can think like a stylist. So you don't want to overdo it or over accessorize, see depending on your style. Um, but these are like the finishing touches are thinking like a stylist. Um, if you feel like the outfit is incomplete, again, this is how you, this is dressing better, upping the ante, you know, making it pop just a little bit more. Think about what needs to be added or where it falls a little flat. Do you need to tie a scarf around your, you know, neck? Or do you need to add a chain belt? Do, is there other style elements you can add to this outfit? You know, I love a good pair of sunnies. I'm always at that. <laughs> but sometimes the outfit needs it. Sometimes it's just feeling a little bare. I don't, you know, have a necklace that I necessarily love with it. A pair of sunnies is like, that's the finishing touch. Add on to that or just like a little bit under that, a very, very easy way to dress better. I touch on this in every video, but I'm gonna reiterate it, is to always have a lint roller on hand. I keep a lint roller in my car. I keep a lint roller in my little travel bag I told you about, like my little stylus bag where I keep a lint roller, shout wipes, uh, safety pins, all kind of stuff. Um, and then I have like a jumbo lint roller in my closet. I always have a lint roller and then a steamer, a portable steamer, a steamer at home. I don't, I haven't ironed in 
I don't even know how many years, but I always have my steamer out and ready, filled with water. So in case I need to just hit something real quick, I can hit it. It will always make you feel better. I know sometimes you're like, eh, it's not that bad. The outfit will look dramatically better. <laughs> I'm gonna link to this video. There are five more tips to dress better. So I wanna make sure you complete the series and get all the tips you need. And I'm also gonna link to the 2023 trends to try video. Those are all the summer trends that I am loving. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.